Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. My name is Joshua McDonald, and today we are checking out the 2024 Jeep Gladiator Mojave. Before we get started with the video, huge shout out to Capital Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram here in Garden, North Carolina for allowing me to review this vehicle. If you guys want the best price on any of those products, including the Jeep Gladiator Mojave, check out their website in the description down below. I'll also have their phone number if you want to shoot them a call. But let's go ahead and jump into the video. We're going to take a full look at the inside, outside, and all the features on this vehicle right here. All right, guys, so starting up front on this vehicle, we have this big steel bumper with the fog lights built in, two of these red tow hooks, and we have a super cool looking front end with these LED accented headlights. Now, underneath the hood, we have a 3.6 liter V6 paired to an eight speed automatic transmission. Lots of ground clearance up here, really gives it a really aggressive design. Now, moving over to the side, let's go ahead and talk about this wheel and tire combo. We have these absolutely massive Falcon Wild Peak AT tires wrapped around these gray wheels. They're 17 inches up front and 17 inches in the back as well. Now, inside our suspension setup, we have Fox shocks on the front and on the back, Mojave badging on the side with the 4x4 Desert rating and the orange accented Jeep Gladiator logo. For the side profile, this is a four-door pickup truck with a bed on the back. So let's go ahead and check out this truck bed that we have on the rear. We have our bumper with our back parking sensors, two more red tow hooks. We have a trailer hookup with our four pin and seven pin connector down below. Orange accented Jeep logo with our tailgate. So let's go ahead and open that up. Comes down nice and easy. Plenty of space inside this truck bed. It has great volume and there's a tie down on each corner. This one has a plastic drop in bed liner to keep that bed nice and protected. Another cool thing about the Mojave is you have these steel rails all the way around to keep your bumpers protected with a spare tire underneath. Now let's go ahead and move around to the other side. Another thing I love about these Jeeps is how big these wheel wells are. Here's where we're going to put our gas in at. Just a regular old gas cap. It'll take 87 octane or above. Now, if we take a look at these back seats, pretty cool interior on this vehicle. We have this black, gray, and orange accents with storage down below. Full leather wrapped seats with those orange accents. Now, another cool thing about this back seat is you can lift up on these seats to reveal even more storage space. So if you need to put something underneath the seats, it allows you to do that. Now let's go ahead and hop inside and see how much room I have. So I'm six foot tall on a good day with shoes on. Plenty of leg room for me, plenty of headroom. It is very nice and comfortable to sit in. Now for my amenities back here, I have storage behind the driver and passenger seat, two AC vents in the back, all of my window controls, and we have a couple USBs with a three prong outlet. There's two cup holders back here. And I also have this little center console slash cup holder area. There's a manually opening and closing sliding rear glass window. And there's a couple speakers right above my head. So this whole top will come off. All of your controls up here for that are in the front. So all you have to do is undo all those latches and you can lift off this three piece hard top. There's handles on both sides so you can hang on while you're off-roading, but overall very nice back seat area. Now, taking a look up front, Pretty similar accents up front to what we had in the back. There's just a little bit more storage down here. All of our mirror controls with our unlock and lock. Now these mirrors do have blind spot monitoring in them. And for our seats, we have a power seat for the driver with lumbar support. Same orange and gray leather, super cool in looking interior. Now let's go ahead and hop inside and take a look at all of our features inside this Mojave. So let's go ahead and put my foot on the brake and hit the start button and she comes to life. Leather wrapped steering wheel with orange stitching, Jeep logo in the center. I have all of my controls for my center touch screen right here on the left. So I can go up, down, left, right, and hit okay. In this little screen, we're gonna be able to see a few different things. We have our off-road, vehicle info, speedometer, screen setup, messages, audio, stop, start, trip info, fuel economy, and our driver assist tab. We have our classic RPM gauges and our miles per hour to the right, 
You can also see how much gas I have and what temperature the motor's at. Right behind the steering wheel, we have paddles on both sides, so I can go up and down through my favorite music. And on the right side, I can turn the volume up and down. To the right, I have all my windshield wiper controls, and to the left, I have my turn signals. Now this is a manually adjustable steering wheel, so to adjust that, we just pull down that plastic tab, and we can move up, down, in, and out. To the left of the steering wheel, I have all of my light controls, and I can adjust my display brightness. Moving back over to the right, I have my touchscreen. So inside of here, I'm able to control my temperature and my heated steering wheel and heated seats on the driver and passenger side. There's also a media tab. It has AM, FM, Sirius XM radio, as well as Bluetooth, a comfort tab for all of my AC controls, navigation tab for the built-in navigation, phone tab to hook up different uh, phones, and a vehicle tab. There's also an apps tab, so you can see all the apps that this Jeep Gladiator is able to offer, and it's broken down into different categories. Overall, very nice screen to use. Feels great to the touch. Now, right below the screen, we have two AC vents. There's one for the driver and one for the passenger. You have those same gray leather accents with orange stitching on both sides, and we have a glove box. There's also a handle for the passenger to hold onto and one up there as well. Right below our screen, we're gonna have our volume controls. We can also tune through our different music, adjust our fan speed. We have a heated steering wheel, heated seat on the driver and passenger side. It's also a mute button, automatic stop start, trash control, hazards, front and back parking sensors, hill descent, and we can turn off our screen. Right below that, we have all of our window controls. We have a 12 volt outlet, a media section with a USB-C, USB and aux port, and four different auxiliary switches. There's also an off-road plus button and a front and rear, sorry, just a rear differential locker. Here's all of our four wheel drive controls. So we have two high, four high, four high part-time, neutral, and four low. Our shifter is located right here. In order to shift, we have to push on this red button. We can go back into reverse, which will prompt our backup camera. We also do have a front camera on this vehicle. You can also go back into neutral, drive, and flip over to the left for manual mode where we can shift up or down through our eight-speed transmission. Right below our shifter, we have our e-brake, two cup holders in the middle, and a center console. There's a USB inside the center console for extra charging capability. Now up on the dashboard, we have a couple storage pockets with some speakers up there. There's three different garage door openers, a makeup mirror for the driver and passenger side, rear view mirror, assist, and SOS button. Here's all the latches I was talking about before. So this comes out in three pieces. One piece is on the passenger, one piece on the driver, and then the last piece is on the back that you just have to pull off. Overall, super cool interior on this Jeep Gladiator Mojave. Let's take one last look at the outside and we'll go over the window sticker and talk about the price. Let me know what you guys think of the 2024 Jeep Gladiator Mojave in the comments down below. I think it's a super cool looking off-roader. I love the wheel and tire setup, but let me know what you guys think compares to this truck right here. Also, before we go over the price, if you want the best discounts and rebates, check out Capital Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram here in Garner, North Carolina. Have all of their information linked in the description down below. Feel free to reach out to them with any questions or pricing concerns. But let's go ahead and take a look at this window sticker. So this is the 2024 Gladiator Mojave X 4x4. Base price of this vehicle is $52,995. This exterior color is the Anvil Clear Coat exterior paint with the black slash green interior colors. 3.6 liter V6 with an eight speed automatic transmission. Here's all the standard equipment on this vehicle right here. And the customer preferred package is that $10,000 package which gives you access to all of these features right here. The only other feature is the eight speed automatic transmission. So with the destination charge, MSRP comes out to $67,985. For a warranty, we're gonna have a five year, 60,000 mile powertrain warranty with a three year, 36,000 mile basic limited warranty. Here's all the safety ratings. And for miles per gallon, we're gonna get 17 city, 22 highway with 19 miles per gallon combined. Here's the whole window sticker if you guys want to pause the video and check it out.
But guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you enjoyed watching, make sure you leave a like and subscribe down below for more car content. Again, my name is Joshua McDonald, and I'll see you guys in the next video.